It's four past the hour. I'm Leah Harding in Gainesville. The Gainesville Police Department is proposing a grant to fund officer enforcement for nighttime seatbelt patrol. Gainesville Police Department Sergeant Joe Rollerson says the plan allows the use of overtime money to put more officers on patrol. We always enforce wearing of seatbelts. We always enforce that law. This would just give us additional officers on the roadway at certain times through overtime money to help augment that. Rollerson adds that the officers would go to a different location each night and do random seatbelt checks. The Florida Department of Transportation will review the proposal this summer. Governor Rick Scott named two Gainesville residents today to make up his task force to study possible changes in the state's stand-your-ground law. Ocala Representative Dennis Baxley and Public Defender Stacy Scott are now members of this task force, formed in the wake of the death of teenager Trayvon Martin. Alachua County residents are learning just how valuable recycling is for their community. Florida's 89.1 WUFTFM's Michael Cadigan reports on how Alachua County's recycling program has become one of the best in the state. Alaska County residents got the opportunity to see where the recyclables end up after they are left out in the bin. S2 Recycling's open house toured residents around Levada Brown Environmental Park and learned more about recycling. SP Recycling Regional Procurement Manager Grace Anna Henderson says the state mandates a 75% recycle rate by 2020. Alachua County Recycling Coordinator Patrick Irby says as a whole the county has a higher recycling rate which rank as one of the best in the state. From University of Florida meteorologist Jeff Huffman. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, warm, and breezy with a high near 87. You're listening to Florida's 89.1 WUFTFM. I'm Leah Harding in Gainesville.